Hello, welcome to Luna Midnight Designs, and boo, it's Halloween time. This year I'll be starting the first doll in the series for Halloween. The theme for the series will be the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Pestilence, famine, war, and death, plus a little extra one. To begin the series, I will start with pestilence. For the body, I will use spectra and the head will be a skeleta. So for the hair, the style I'm going for is like a very long braid. I will only be plugging on the outside of the head, all the way around, and for the hair, I am using DGHQ Nylon in the color Ink Black from the Doll Planet. Take some of the hair to make wefts, and then I just glue at least like two wefts to the back of the head just to make the braid even longer. The goal is to create a very long braid once everything is dry on the head and inside I wrap the hair and prepare for the face up and modifications. For the face modifications my idea is to make her look like a zombie hidden behind a plague doctor's mask. So to create the illusion or the modification that I, it is she is a zombie slowly decaying from a plague, I am using an air dry clay to make the details of the face. Warning, fake blood and gore when doing the face up later on. For the face, I first start with pastels. I use browns, grays, reds, and greens, and of course, black. And after each layer of sealant, I add more pastels, just building in the opacity, and then I bring paint in to add smaller details to the face. The goal is to make her look like the embodiment of disease and have sort of like the symptoms of the Black Plague. So she is like decaying and rotting away slowly. For it to look good, I have to kind of let go and try not to control and force how the paint and the pastels fall on the face, like no erasing or no cleaning up and like no fixing mistakes because all of that will just add to like the details of her being a sort of zombie and just make it look like it's rot or dirt. The eyes were probably the most challenging part, so don't be surprised if the final photos, they look completely changed. Like the one that you are seeing right now is like my third try, so fingers crossed that my fourth try will finally stick. For her outfit, there will be six parts, the dress, shirt, vest, coat, outer skirt, and underskirt, and high socks. For the pieces, I will be using Delightful Sundress pattern for the skirts and the Business Basics pattern from DG Requiem. I begin by cutting out all the pieces and applying fray track to all the pieces as well. While prepping the pieces, my pet ferret Oscar decided to make a surprise visit while I was working. The dress shirt I'm making for this doll is very similar to Lady Tatiana's shirt I made in my steampunk video.
I start with hemming the collar along A, I use glue, I then sew the collar pieces to the body pieces along B, finish sides in. I then hem along D, but I put the hem on the good side and sew the bodice front together along E, finish sides in. I then attach the sleeves along F and the cuffs. Once the cuffs are sewn on, I pin the shirt, finish sides in, and sew along the arm and the body piece. And once that is done, I turn out and place it on the doll. And then I also add Velcro to the back. And that is part one of six for the outfit. The vest is just attached to the shirt, so there's no need to worry about a closure. I first start with drawing on the darts and sewing them in. I then try the vest onto the shirt, making sure it all fits well and everything's landing where it's supposed to be. And then I hem the vest along the inner arm, along B. And then attach the vest to the shirt and glue the two vest pieces together at the front. For the underskirt, it is just the pattern from Moonlight Jewels pattern book, volume one. It's her ruffled skirt pattern with the addition of a body piece to make a sort of waistband. So for the underskirt, I just gather the skirt piece and then sew it to the body piece after they have been put together on the sides. Very simple, quick and easy. The overskirt is actually the sundress pattern with the body piece shortened to fit more like a waistband as well. Very similar to the, fur, uh, the underskirt, but just gonna be over and a little bit more cleaner, not gathered. So it is very simple, sew the skirt to the body, bodice piggies, and then sew the back and add a closure, leaving enough space for the skirt to fit over the bum. Time for the hardest outfit piece, saving the best for last, I guess. I first lengthen the coat pattern to fit with my concept. I then cut out the pieces and of course, fray check them, my lifesaver. I then start by sewing the front and back pieces along the so shoulder. And hey, Oscar's here again. I did forget to add the dart, so I will click quickly just do that. I then sew the front pieces together along the middle seam. Now, the tricky part and the one, the part that confused me for a little bit there. So first you lay the collar piece along the coat, and then on top of the collar, place the liner pieces and then sew along the outer seam. I then attach the sleeves and the cuffs. To close up, I sew along the inner arm and the body seam and turn out. I then add a white trim detail and beads to look like buttons. For the socks, it's very simple. You just sew the fabric as close as possible to the leg and turn out and it's done. Time for accessories. For the shoes, I just paint them black and add some white thread to add the white shoe laces to the boot. For the hat, I'm using Rochelle Goals. I take some black felt, I cut out a circle and a long strip to cover the gray parts. I just glue them on. And then for the brim, I cut it out of cardboard and give it the same treatment, just cutting out two circles that fit on both sides of the cardboard and glue those on. I then add some white details and the hat is done. Okay. This mask has been the hardest thing to make. What is shown in the video is my second try and the final one is actually probably gonna be my third try. It was a nightmare. 
So if anyone has an easier way, please, please, please let me know. I honestly had no idea what I was doing. It was so it's kind of hard to explain what's really going on. I just was trying to use like a felt or like a fabric as like the what I'm building on and I just use air dry clay to like create the shape and some of the basic details so that later on I can just sand it to how I want it to look but when I was sanding the air dry clay just kept cracking and falling apart and then the base I was building it on wasn't strong enough so it just kept warping inside so I had to like start over again and I just wanted to show you at least one of my attempts to make the mask but uh, like I'm still working on it I'm sorry and here is Pestilence, the first of the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. My main idea was to create a Plague Doctor who has been infected or is actually the cause of the plague and diseases. On the outside, she is all clean and perfect, but once the mask is removed, you see her truth and reveal the poison. She is the first of her siblings to appear, the first of four, and when they come, the end is near. I love how she turned out. The outfit is exactly what I wanted. And even though the face and the mask gave me a hard time, they turned out perfect. And I'm so sorry that this video is a little bit late. Did work my hardest to get it out in time. I'm very, very sorry. Either way, I hope you all had fun and enjoyed my video. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. Make sure to follow me on Instagram to see more and subscribe to get future videos. Have a creative day. See you soon. Bye!